I'm going to preview the two seed Iowa State versus the three seed Illinois men's basketball game. And I apologize for looking down because I cannot memorize all this stuff. And if it's like two assists per game or less, I'm not going to mention it or anything 0.6. Or less, I'm not going to mention it either. And I'm not going to go over heights and weights and what position and everything. So, and the game will be played in Boston, Massachusetts at TD Garden. And the game will be played on True T like TBS or True slash True TV at 9.09 p.m. Central Time. So, it's another one of those games on March 28th that I wanted to go over here. And I'm going to start with the Iowa State side of things. And I will also go over keys for the game, but it's more like in general for both of these teams and not one team or the other necessarily. So the, obviously the link score for Iowa State is Keith, Sean Gilbert, but that's at 13.7 points per game, though they have a lot of balance. 4.4 rebounds per game, 4.3 assists per game, 1.9 steals per game, 2.3 fouls per game, 2.8 turns per game, 34.3% on threes on 102 in tips, 73.1% on on free throws on 197 attempts. And it's Taman Lipsy at 12.5 points per game, 4.6 rebounds per game, 4.9 assists per game, 2.7 steals per game, 1.9 fouls per game, 2.1 turns per game, 39.3 percent on threes on 112 attempts, 70.8 percent on on free throws on 130 attempts. And it's Milan. Momlosilovic, M-O-M-C-I-L-O-V-I-C. I -O -O -I, I apologize if I burped to that. I know it. It's some. It's something like that. Very close. And I, it's not easy to pronounce on these names here. So, eleven point two points per game, three point two rebounds per game, one point seven fouls per game, point eight turns per game, six thirty six point one percent on threes on one hundred sixty nine attempts, eighty one point eight percent on on free throws on 66 attempts. And it's Curtis Jones, another double digit score at 10.6 points per game. 2.9 rebounds per game, 2 assists per game. 1.4 steals per game, 1.7 fouls per game, 0.8 turns per game, 34.3% on three on 201 attempts, 78.3% on free throws on 60 attempts. And there's Trey King. At 8.9 points per game. So that's a lot of guys already that I'm mentioning that are 8 points per game. Or eight point, at least 8.5 points per game or more. 5.3 rebounds per game. 1.3 turns per game. 1.1 steals per game. 2.4 fouls per game. 27.7% on threes on 47 attempts. 80.6% on free throws on, on 72 attempts. And there's Robert Jones. At 7.8 points per game. So that's yet another player with a, at least 7.5 or more. I mean, 4.2 rebounds per game. 0.9 blocks per game. 1.1 steals per game. 2.3 fouls per game. 1 turnover per game. 50% on free throws on 98 attempts. And it's Harsan Ward. 6.2 points per game. 3.8 rebounds per game. Okay. 2.6 fouls per game, 1.1 steals per game, 1.1 blocks per game. 20, I mean, 57.8% on free throws on 46 attempts. I don't know, 45 attempts. So, yeah, you got to make your free throws. That does count. And there's Jackson pa Pavelislisk. P-A-V-E-L-E-T. Z-K-E. I apologize if I virtually that. 3.4 re points per game. 0.6 fouls per game. That's pretty much it on that. And 40% on threes on 35 attempts. 75% on free throws on 28 attempts. I want to see real fast. Okay. I'm not going to mention Omaha. But I'm going to go over Demarion Watson now. At 1.9 points per game. He's close to two rebounds per game. I'm going to go ahead and mention it. It's 1.9. One foul per game. Two for two on threes. 57.1% on free throws on 14 attempts. 
So that's all the Iowa State stuff on that side of it. And there's no injuries for Illinois as of this recording. And currently, Iowa State's only fair by one and a half. So it's going to be an interesting game. And it's Illinois' first Sweet 16 game since 2005. And it's Terrence Shannon Jr., 23.3 points per game. Obviously, we know him. I know him from the time at Texas Tech, as I'm like, I'm familiar with that guy's name. 4.3 rebounds per game, 2.3 assists per game, 0.9 blocks per game, 1 steal per game, 2 turnovers per game, 2.1 fouls per game, 36.1% on threes on 202 attempts, 81.5% on free throws on 260 attempts. And as Marcus Domask. 16.1 points per game, 5 rebounds per game, 4 assists per game, 1.3 fouls per game, 2.3 turns per game. They're 29.8% on threes on 131 attempts, 87.5% on free throws on 144 attempts. And it's Coleman ha Hawkins. 12.3 points per game, 6.1 rebounds per game, 2.8 assists per game. 1.1 blocks per game, 1.5 steals per game, 1.6 Turns per game, 2.6 fouls per game, 37.8% on threes on 148 attempts, 80.4% on free throws on 92 attempts. Quincy Gurrier, G-U-E-R-R-I-E-R, I apologize if I purchased that. 9.8 points per game, 6.2 rebounds per game. 1.9 fouls per game, 0.9 turnovers per game, 38% on threes on 108 attempts, 57.1% on free throws on 112 attempts. And it's Quincy Rogers. 6.4 points per game, 5.3 rebounds per game, 2.1 assists per game, 1.3 turns per game, 1.8 fouls per game, 62.3% on free throws on 61 attempts. And it's Dane Danger, which I am familiar with that name. He was actually at Baylor before he entered the transfer portal, but it's because of the playing time. 6.3 points per game, 3.6 rebounds per game, 1.1 fouls per game, 0.6 turnovers per game, 49.2% on, on free throws on 61 attempts. And that's that, and it look good. Good. G O G O O D E. Five point eight points per game. Three point five rebounds per game. One point eight fouls per game. Thirty nine point six percent on threes on one hundred forty nine attempts. Sixty one point nine percent on free throws on twenty one attempts. And there's Justin Harmon. Five point eight points per game. Two point eight rebounds per game. One point six fouls per game, point seven turnovers per game, thirty one point four percent on threes on seventy attempts, ninety point nine percent on free throws on forty four attempts. I want to double check the last few players here to see if I need to go ahead and mention. I know it might he he played a little bit in the Wisconsin game in the Big Ten tournament championship, so draw. Gibbs Lahorn, 2.5 re points, 2.5 points per game, one foul per game, 23.5 percent on on threes on 34 attempts, 57.1 percent on free throws on seven attempts. So I know it's not much, but still, I want to just still go over it. I'm gonna just double check. Actually, I'm not going to go right ahead and go over the other guys. It's 2.1 points per game or less. But that's nearly every player that should play in this game. Should. What the heck? I'm going to go over Amani Hainsbury. Then after that, I'm done. On the going over the players. 2.1 points per game. 2.2 rebounds per game. 1.2 fouls per game. 20% on threes, but that's on 10 attempts. 50% on free throws, but that's on four attempts. So, obviously, for both of these teams... You don't know what the officiating is going to be like. It could be questionable, but you got to play through it. 
and you got to make adjustments on the fly, both offensively and defensively, not just from first half to second half, but time after time out, possession by possession. You got to outround, rebound the other team. You want to limit the second chance points for both of these teams while getting some second chance points. You want to limit the points in the paint, transition, and points on turns while getting some of those. I mean, that's the thing. And you got to make the other team uncomfortable offensively and defensively. You don't want, you got to keep your composure as well. You don't want to like, get flagrant ones or flagrant twos or even a technical foul. I mean, that's the thing about this is you got to take care of the ball too. That's another key. You got to take care of the ball in order to win games. And, and you got to get try to limit the opposing team on the free throws unless you have to do foul game but besides that try to not allow so many free throws and if you get to the free throw line you gotta make them count you gotta be ball tough i mean you don't want somebody to just rip it away from you when you're trying to chin the ball in that situation but you know what i mean and and you don't want to like, get illegal screens or offensive fouls obviously if you're going to have a turnover, make it a dead ball and not a live ball. But then again, you don't still want to limit your turnovers across the board. You got to contain the shooters, contain the slashers. And you try to stay out of foul trouble while get your the opposing team in foul trouble, especially the better players. So anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later on the road to 600 subscribers. Go to Ultimate Goal. It's a thousand more, so many money out there. Of course, liking the video, comment video really helps YouTube background so more people can see it. Sharing the video does help as well, so more people can watch. And if you're watching and not subscribed, hit subscribe buttons, free the notification bell as well. And it'll be either on TBS or True TV for this game at 9.09 p.m. Central Time.